guys so i am back home in arkansas for the time being and the weather is absolutely gorgeous the leaves are finally starting to change colors a little bit and so for today i am going to two different hiking trails the first one is page falls slash broadwater hollow falls and the second one is hideout hollow the road down to page falls slash broadwater hollow falls is a little on the sketchy side it'll be an interesting experiment to see if the van can make it down there and back out again We've got our orange stuff on for safety purposes since it is hunting season. We want to be extra visible. So someone actually got lost on this trail um, sometime last year and it actually took the search and rescue crews quite a while to find them. So um, since there is no cell service here, it's important to remember if you are hiking a trail you're not familiar with, be sure to download the map ahead of time. And also it's a good idea to invest in one of those satellite devices. What are you doing? Well, we made it back to the van and I'm actually surprised that there was water flowing in the waterfalls given the time of year. It's usually dry right now. Let's get out of here and head towards Hideout Hollow. Right, we made it to Hideout Hollow and I actually have not done this trail in a really long time. It's probably been maybe even like three years or so. So I'm excited to check it out. I really like this trail a lot. I've always felt like it's kind of um, underrated and it's definitely one of the least popular hiking trails in the Buffalo River area and that's a good thing because I have never once actually seen another person here before so it's nice and peaceful and relaxing. Here is Hideout Hollow. There's a little bit of water flowing and there is a way to get down there but I've never tried it mostly because I'm worried that I would not be able to climb back out so wow check out this hole. Actually, maybe it's like an old well or something or a snake den. Oh no, my favorite sandals just broke. Dang. So I'm thinking about actually staying here tonight, firing here, which means that people have camped here before. All right, so let's go head down to the camping spot that I originally had in mind for tonight. And the reason why I picked it is because it's a really nice spot to catch the sunset. So um, we'll go check it out. And if there's too many people staying there, then I'll probably just come back here and stay at the Hideout Hollow Trailhead. There are actually two other hiking trails that I've been wanting to check out that are in this vicinity called Antenna Pine and... Um, Thunder Canyon Falls, but I'm not exactly sure where the trailheads are, so I think I'll probably save that for another time once I do some more research. This is the trail that we are not going to hike, Hemden Hollow. It says right here that the descent down to Hemden Hollow is the same height as the Empire State Building. I don't think that I will ever hike to Hemden Hollow from the top. The best way to get to it is from the river in between Steel Creek and Kyle's Landing. So much easier hike getting there from the bottom. So this is a place that I was thinking about camping, but obviously it's the wrong time of year for the sunset because the sun is behind us. I also don't recall there being an RV park there the last time I stayed here. I was actually going to try out cooking in the van for the first time tonight, but honestly, I don't really feel like it. So I think we're gonna save that for another night and go back down to Head out hollow trailhead and camp down there where there's a fire ring and I can make hot dogs. Oh shoot, now there's another person here too. Dang. Oh, this is what I get for saying earlier that I've never seen anyone else here because I'll leave for a few minutes and come back and someone's here. So I guess what I'll do is just start picking up some sticks and so hopefully when they leave, once I get done hiking, I can build myself a little fire, cook some hot dogs for dinner, otherwise I might just be cooking in the van after all. 
Razor says he can eat his kibble anywhere. Doesn't matter where we camp. Ooh, looks like they're leaving. Well, now that we got our spot, let's get some fire going. There we go. All right, veggie hot dog time. By the way, this mayo chup stuff, I got it in Utah. It's like freaking awesome. It's mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together. On today's edition of Gross Things That Bruisers Found in the Woods, we have a small animal skull. Well, today was a great day. It was super awesome to get out and go hiking. I haven't really done much of that here lately, and so it was cool to go back and explore a few trails that I haven't been to in a long time, and it's also really neat to camp in my new van. So anyways, we're about to get some rest, back to work tomorrow, and on to the next adventure after that. Good night, y'all.